What's up guys? I'm Tiana. Welcome back to the channel. This weekend I am doing a huge coffee shop hop. Come with me around Vancouver as we check out some of the staple coffee shops in the city. A local business from Toronto snapshot this. Her name is Monica, the owner of this business. I just came across her story like a few weeks ago. She creates artwork featuring like coffee cups or coffee bags from stores in Toronto. Did her first Vancouver edition. She just put on her story, I'm looking for someone from Vancouver. So I responded. He just wanted me to drop off the posters to all of the locations. So I was like 100%, you know, I love coffee. I love the coffee scene everywhere I go. You know, know the Vancouver scene really well. Definitely check her out. I'll also put some additional information in the description below. My first stop of the day is Palette Coffee. I'm at their Kingsway and Knight Street location. Super cute corner unit. As this was my first stop of the morning, I definitely needed some breakfast and caffeine. So I grabbed a granola and yogurt and then a nice Americano as well. Tima Palette was the sweetest. Oh my God. I haven't, I don't think I've been to that location maybe once before. But the store manager was so sweet. All the employees definitely have to go back to this location. So next up, I am going just a little bit down the street to Matchstick, the Fraser location. Fun fact, I used to work at this Matchstick Fraser. Like this was actually my first coffee job. Always brings back memories when I go back. This location is always so busy in such a neighborhood spot. I visit that location every now and again. It's definitely changed a lot. When I used to work there, the couple that created the brand no longer works for the company. They sold it. Each location is slightly different now, different management teams, but it was definitely one of the go-tos during the pandemic because they're one of the only coffee shops open. Next coffee shop I'm going to is Prado Cafe. This is their Fraser Street location, just up the street from that matchstick on Kingsway. Next stop I'm going to is Nemesis Coffee. Probably the most well-known coffee shops in Vancouver. This is their Great Northern Way location, my favorite location, but honestly you can't go wrong with any of them. This one's just crazy beautiful with the architecture and you'll see. I mean, they're always crazy busy too. Not only is the interior beautiful, and well, also exterior, but they also have the cutest patio, and they do like dinner series, and just, you know, bring up DJ sometimes. Nemesis is known for their dope vibes. Also their pastries, you cannot miss. Their pastries are super impressive and creative, and they're huge on social media because of it. Also, when they opened this location, this has their roastery in it, so I started roasting their own coffee beans. Honestly, everything about Nemesis is aesthetic and just super cool. And if you did want to check out their other locations, their OG one is in Gastown, and then they also have one at Polygon Gallery, which is beautiful too. Now going to Prototype Coffee. I always come out through the back because the mural art is so much fun. They were so sweet as well in there and I always get a honey orange latte every time I go but it's a little hot for a honey orange latte so she told me to try it ice. I think they had seen the art as well um, on Monica's social media page before. They were having so much fun looking through the poster. I can confirm that it's also really good ice. Prototype is definitely one of my favorite coffee shops in Vancouver, if not my favorite. I was working as a barista, I actually served Prototype on pour overs before they had the cafe. They just micro roast a lot of different 
bridles. I just love how much fun they have with coffee and they're super legit. And now we're in Gastown. We are at Revolver, which is also just a corner away from the Nemesis Gastown location. You guys, people in the coffee industry are just so sweet. Everyone's been like offering me coffees for dropping the posters off. Unfortunately, I cannot drink that much coffee in a day, but I really appreciate the offers. So Revolver is a great spot if you want to pick up coffee beans or a flight. They have so many different roasters. During the pandemic, I was definitely coming here. They had a little like takeout window where you could order everything from, which was super cool in their alleyway. Revolver is a staple. Okay, we're on Broadway now and we are hitting up another one of my favorite coffee shops and coffee roasters in Vancouver, Modus Coffee. I always enjoy chatting with the owners of Modus Coffee. There was one point in time where I wanted to work there and their business has really blown up the past few years, so I'm super happy for them. Okay, now I'm at 49 Parallel in Kitsilano, which is super close to there there, so I'm gonna do two in one. This is probably one of my favorite 49 Parallels. They have a really cute patio. Parallel is another Vancouver staple. You have to get their Lucky's Donuts. All of the blue in their stores is beautiful. It's like a Tiffany blue. Can't go wrong. So both of these stores are on 4th in Kitsilano. There there is definitely one of the fun cafes in Vancouver. They have really good cronuts, unique pastries and drinks. Another nice thing is they also are like a restaurant group. So they have like a burger bar as well as a fine dining restaurant. So lots of options. They definitely know what they're doing. Made it to North Vancouver and we're going to United Strangers first. I've actually never even heard of this coffee shop, so I'm happy that I'm checking it out. The one I haven't been to is Smoking Gun, but I've tried their coffee at Beanstalk. How cute is this? They had so many cute things in there. I love coffee shops or like any stores in general that sell local artisan products. So I picked up a couple things. I have an issue with coffee mugs when I see a cute one, especially when I'm traveling. I always need to pick one up. The staff was super sweet too. They said they'd only been open for two years. They were so honored to be a part of the posters. Okay, last stop of the day. We're at House of Funk Brewing. So this spot is super funky. I love their branding. It's so fun. They are a brewery, but they also roast sick coffee. This is the brewery district of North Vancouver. And this, I've never seen this. This is so fun. Day one is done. Completed 11 out of the 12 coffee shops today. Day two of the coffee shop hop. I'm here with Sunny today. He's joining me on the adventure to Chilliwack. We've just arrived, we're hitting up Smoking Gun. First time here, pretty excited. Gas is hella cheap out here. It's like what? 161, 162. This is like 191. Yeah, it's super smoky out here. In Hope, BC, there is a wildfire. Smoky where we live too, but we're definitely closer to Hope here. All the buildings are so cute here. Lots of construction though, to make this a cute little neighborhood. And here we are. Guys, this is my favorite setup. I'm just taking the photo. And it's such a perfect visual. <laughs> Got a coffee for the road. An hour and a half home. Also got the cutest little sweater. Can't wait. For me? No, for me. Share. 
Okay, sure. sure. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, you guys. This was such a fun activity. It was a little tiring, but I really enjoyed it. I'm such a coffee lover, coffee snob, whatever you want to call it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that I can do more adventures like this. See you guys next Wednesday.